What is up guys, it's Sam Green Sly Fox. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm showing you a couple of plants here that have suffered from etiolation. So they are stretched out beyond what they absolutely should be to quote unquote be considered desirable. And for me it was mostly just trying to clean up my plants come springtime and a couple of these were put under some circumstances where they obviously weren't given the best of light. So a lot of them had stretching, especially with my peperomia. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix that. Right here is a node on my Chinese evergreen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to snip that underneath the lowest one. There's one right below it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip that there. This was kept on the far side of my room. So it was pretty dark but it did manage an entire season with almost no light, like it's very far away from the windows that I have. So that node will produce an aerial root once it hits some water. This is the vine of my peperomia. This thing stretched so, so bad that if it were a Hoya, maybe it'd be considered okay. So etiolation is the process of where plant stretches its internodes um, become longer due to the complete absence of light. This can happen for a couple of reasons. Not enough light, too many plants are grouped fighting for light, etc. So we're going to use a root hormone right here to go ahead and just repot this peperomia right down into some new soil instead of putting this one in water we're just going to go ahead and stick it right in this pot here so as you can see there's a lot of space in between those nodes especially towards the bottom taking a clean terracotta it does have a drain hole little baby group get some fresh potting soil for this and we are going to go ahead and start by cleaning up the plant. Some of these I did take off bottom leaves, kind of the way you would propagate a succulent, um, as far as tearing them away from the stem. And that is creating a node. That's where roots, new roots, will push out underneath the dirt and start to anchor itself in. So I dip this in the rooting hormone and just stick it right down in there pretty firmly but not firm enough that when I water this, you know, the water sits on top and puddles, it should still pass right through. So don't completely compact your soil here. So with all of these leaflets I'm breaking apart, I actually did end up putting an entire new plant into some soil like propagation method, uh, really similar to how Julie Nicole did her peperomia or watermelon peperomia so I will go ahead and I will link that video below um, we did a collab that was her video she put out and uh, she'll show you the proper way to start a brand new peperomia from these leaves so that's exactly the method that I followed so these are all the leaflets that I used to get a second plant Everything is rooting and inside of a plastic bag, and this is all the stem that was cut away. My donkey tail was something that I kept inside a greenhouse that I got from Michael's, and this plant kind of gave me trouble a little bit when I first owned it. I wasn't really, I don't know, educated on how to take care of it, so I overwatered it a bit and I put it in too big of a pot. So. I think putting it in my greenhouse, making you know these stressful changes just caused a lot of stretching and I wanted to go ahead and tighten that up and um, with all of these little cuttings and stuff I can always make another plant which I plan to do once they all dry out, hence why I'm setting them down on this clean paper towel. This one didn't seem too bad compared to the other one, um, maybe because the bottom uh, leaves were a little bit thinner and less chubby than the other one so they didn't look as awkward as they stretched out so I actually left this one a little bit longer than the other and I did not bother to repot this one because I didn't think it was necessary so these are all the cuttings that I took I did take one cutting from that echeveria that was in there with my burrows tail the slightly bluer version of the donkey tail I have. I have two varieties here, that one in the back, this guy, it's a combo. So I ended up splitting these up this way, you know, it can have its own 
pot. So a couple of different ways that we are going to go ahead and give these new life. The Chinese Evergreen I will keep here in water until I get some roots going. The Peperomia we stuck right in dirt with some rooting hormone. And for the donkey tail, I took some cuttings, which I can make into a new project and stuck the other one in its separate own pot and stuck the other blue burrow tail in with the other taller donkey tail. All right, guys, that's everything. So now I have my empty greenhouse here. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see a video on what I put in here next. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!